Well, welcome back. It is 515 on this Monday morning, Juneteenth today. So I know a lot of you may have plans on getting outside for festivities or just enjoying some of the nice weather that we do have. And weather is indeed going to be playing out really nice today. Getting a look outside right now on your Embarcadero camera, getting some brightening skies already. We're on to our final days of spring, so days are nearing the longest that we'll see them all year. So you're going to notice sunrise a little bit earlier and sunset a little bit later during your evenings as well. Storm Tracker 4 is showing a low pressure area to our north. That's anchoring a dip in the jet stream that's going to be keeping us quite cool today. If you noticed yesterday feeling a little cooler, that was part of that impact. We do have some showers up in the very northern reaches of the state, but not looking at those here locally. What you will notice is a generous onshore breeze. This is going to transport ocean cool there our direction and make for some breezy, brisk conditions near the coast and some pretty comfortable conditions elsewhere. Future cast shows all the sunshine we can expect this afternoon. It is going to be nothing but sun out there today. Beautiful afternoon to be out and about. So we move into the evening, a pretty clear night, and into tomorrow morning, a pretty clear start to the day as well. Tomorrow is going to keep this cool momentum going for your final day of spring before we kick off summer on Wednesday. As for our temperatures today, daytime highs, let's get back to weather really quick. We do have a couple more graphics to show, um, if we could get back to that. Um, awesome. 60s to 70s for your daytime highs today. Antioch, Concord, and Napa still hanging out in the 70s for your highs for your uh, inland areas. Oakland, Fremont at 66, while San Francisco at 64. Getting a look at your seven-day forecast. Temperatures remain pretty steady and actually cooler than average all the way through. Today, daytime highs barely crack in the low 70s for our inland areas. With Tuesday and Wednesday, temperatures climbing a little bit further. By Wednesday, your first day of summer, that's actually the warmest day of this forecast with highs nearing 80 degrees at our warmest inland, staying pretty solidly in the 60s along the